In this video, I will show you how to remove fence posts or how to remove concrete from the ground in less than three minutes. I have a good bit of experience doing this. I just removed over 300 foot of fence with 48 concrete fence posts and pieces of concrete from the ground. Doing this project, I picked up quite a few tips and tricks to share with you, which makes this job much easier. This will work to remove fence posts which are still in concrete or if the fence post is broken off and you just need to remove the concrete from the ground. With the right tools, this job is very easy and my kids were even able to do it on their own. There are a couple tools you will need to make a fence post puller tool. These are tools you probably don't just have lying around. The first tool needed is a high lift jack or a farm jack. I picked up this one online for even cheaper than you will find at Harbor Freight. It has a 6,000 pound capacity and its ratcheting action is used to lift the fence post or concrete from the ground. I'll put a link to this product in the video description and comments below. Next, you will need a heavy duty chain with a grab and sling hook. This Vulcan chain I bought online is rated at 6,600 pounds and is 8 foot long. It's big enough to handle even the biggest pieces of concrete with ease. I'll put a link to this product in the video description and comments below. The last tool is optional, but I found it very handy and used it for every fence post I removed in my yard. It's a high lift jack base. This base helps to stabilize the farm jack. As you can see here, without the base, the jack is pretty unstable when it's under a load. It's especially helpful when the ground is soft, muddy, or uneven. Removing fence posts is a lot easier when the ground is soft or it's recently rained, so this base really helps to keep the jack from sinking into the ground. I'll put a link to this product in the video description and comments below. If the fence post is still sound and in good shape, you can remove it without any digging at all. To remove a fence post that is still attached to concrete in the ground, you start by wrapping the chain around the fence post. Loop the chain through the grab and hook end and continue to wrap the chain around the fence post. Then loop the chain back through and tighten the chain, leaving a foot or so of the chain loose. If using a high lift jack base, position the base in front of the fence post and then place the farm jack on the base. Then ratchet the jack up to the appropriate height based on your chain length and then attach the chain. You can hook the grab end of the chain directly to the bottom of the jack if it's shorter or if you have a long section of chain remaining, you can double over the chain or across the top and then hook the grab end around the chain. Start by ratcheting the jack up until the chain is tight. Once it is tight, the base will begin to tilt forward. At this point, it's best to secure the top of the jack to prevent the jack from tilting forward. This will keep the jack upright and direct the pull force straight up. I used a six foot piece of angle iron to do this. Alternatively, you could use a two by four to accomplish the same task. Then you simply continue to ratchet the jack up to pull the concrete fence post out of the ground. If positioned correctly, you will have enough jack height to pull the fence post straight out of the ground. If the concrete clears the hole completely, you can simply push the jack and fence posts over out of the hole. If your fence post is rotted out or no longer attached, or if you just have a piece of concrete you're trying to remove, a little digging is required. You will need to dig around the concrete just enough to get the chain wrapped around the top of the concrete. Make sure the chain is secure around the concrete and does not slip. Then you simply jack the concrete out of the hole just as shown before. Once you get this method down, it's very easy to remove fence posts from the ground, even posts that are set in concrete. Once set up, jacking it out is a breeze. My 12-year-old son was able to do this completely on his own in about three minutes. He was able to wrap the chain, set the jack and base, and crank the fence posts out of the ground all by himself without any assistance. A hatchet is another helpful tool to have handy for this job. It can be used to disengage the jack release, chop roots that may be in the way, and also loosen dirt from around the concrete. All the tools shown to do this are available for pretty cheap online. Again, I'll put links to them in the video description and the comments below. To remove my old wooden privacy fence would have cost me several thousand dollars if I had to pay to have it removed and hauled away. I had over 300 foot of fence and again 48 fence posts or pieces of concrete in the ground. With these tools and methods, I was able to tackle this job on my own and save a ton of money. If this video helped you as well, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful videos like this.